This briefing will provide information about an officer-involved shooting involving members of the New York City Police Department. You will see relevant video footage and other available evidence that will allow you to gain a better understanding of the events that led up to the incident and what occurred during the incident based on the facts that we know at this time. New York State law and NYPD policy give police officers the authority to use reasonable force under appropriate circumstances. The department's Force Investigation Division conducts a thorough investigation when an officer discharges his or her firearm or in cases of any serious police-related injury or death. Sometimes these investigations can require as much as a year or longer to complete. Our understanding of the incident may change as additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. Investigators are typically required to interview multiple witnesses several times, review many hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. In this specific investigation, follow-up interviews are still being conducted and video evidence is still under review. We do not draw any conclusions about whether an officer's actions were consistent with department policy and the law until all the facts are known. The images and information you are about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to take a person into custody or defend against an attack, the images can be graphic and sometimes difficult to watch. There may also be strong language recorded in the videos you are about to see. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers.
In the coming weeks and months, the NYPD Force Investigation Division, in cooperation with the prosecutor having jurisdiction over this incident, will continue to investigate and analyze this incident as more interviews are conducted and forensic tests are completed. After the investigation is complete, the facts of the case will be presented to the First Deputy Commissioner's Use of Force Review Board, which will evaluate the evidence to determine if the use of force applied in this case was justified and within department guidelines.